So good afternoon. We are at uh, the Quail. I can take one of these anytime. <laughs> we're here at the Lotus Stand uh, to see the Evaya. And so we have with us from Lotus. Matt Windle. I'm the Executive Director of Sports Car Engineering. So I'm the man responsible for all of the new product design that's going on at Lotus at the moment. We're privileged to have Mark uh, share a little more insight about the car. It's the first uh, British produced hypercar. Uh, it's all electric. Um, and this, this for us is a halo product that uh, signifies where we're going with Lotus. I mean, one of, the, one of the most striking things about the car is the design language. Um, we wanted it to still be a Lotus. Um, we didn't want it to be wacky. We wanted it to be um, there for a purpose, so functionality. However, one of the big elements that we've gone with and the, and the opportunity that's been given to us by using the electric uh, propulsion is that we've been able to use this porosity that we put through the body. Um, the downforce figures is one of the things I'm not allowed to tell you right now, uh, but this will have downforce that uh, surpasses anything you've ever seen before. But also we were keen for, to maximise the range of the vehicle was to reduce the drag. So you can see from the front that we have elements in the car where the air can pass through the car, pass out behind the wheel. And it's the same thing in the hood as well. So uh, we have elements in here where you can pass through. Um, the car is all carbon. So it has a one piece carbon monocoque, but all of the body panels are carbon as well to reduce the weight. Uh, the weight target for this is around 1,680 kilos. It's not the lightest Lotus. And I, know, I, know some, I know some people have a problem with that, but it is the lightest in its class, which is what we've been striving to do. All of the, all of the elements that are in the car, um, including uh, the air, air splitters and everything in here, is all to help with the drag reduction of the car. Uh, one of the nice elements here, and one of the jewellery features as well, is that we have this carbon uh, nose badge which is inlaid with, it can be inlaid with precious metals. We do have a lift on the front axle, so you can lift the car up for getting over speed bumps and, and uh, loading and unloading. The other technology that we've got here, which is a first, first for Lotus and actually is a world first, is uh, LED, uh, sorry, laser lights, not LED lamps. So we have laser lamps here, but they're both for dip and high beam. So that's the first time they've been used. Um, one, of the, one of the elements that Russell and the design team will tell you as well is that they've They've taken a lot of inspiration from the aero industry. So a lot of the lines and the, the crispness of the lines. And even here, these are like, they're designed so they're like wing tips that, that are in there. And you can see the detail that's gone into the lights. They're, they're a thing of beauty themselves. Unfortunately, because the doors are open at the moment, um, I can't show you the side cameras that we've got on here. But again, to looking to reduce drag as much as we can, we've done, we've done away with a traditional mirror. Uh, and uh, the cameras deploy when the car is uh, driving and there's some display screens inside the door. We've done the same thing with the rear camera as well. So there's a, a display screen in the centre where a traditional rear view mirror would be, but there's a camera on the back that shows you. So I guess as the doors are open we should have a look in the inside as well. What, what we've really concentrated on in the inside of the car is for it to be minimalist but also it's luxury, so it's not a stripped out car, but it's really focused. Our belief for the cars that we're designing is they're for the drivers. We want these cars to be used, we don't want them to just be in a museum. So it's, a fo it's focused for the driving position. We have adjustability both in the steering wheel and the seating position. One of the elements, if you have a look, we were talking about the aeronautical theme, is the, the beam that goes through there, and you have to have a look through the screen as well. So it's a floating beam structure, but in, again, in Lotus tr tradition, we've tried to make that multifunctional. So it gives you the structural beam that you need for supporting the steering column and the cross car strength, but also it's the ducting for the air vents for the HVAC system as well. Um, and it's, it's a thing of beauty itself. So um, it's got integrated infotainment system. So you will have uh, uh, Apple CarPlay in here, so you can have your maps. So it could be your daily if you wanted it to be, so it'd be fantastic. Um, we've also made the center console with uh, the driver touch system. So they're haptic buttons and um, they have indents in them as well. So the idea is that you're driving at speed, you can fill down and you'll learn where all the functions are that you want on the car so that you're not taking your, you're not taking your eyes off the car. So power doors, um, uh, dihedral doors as well. And as you can see, there's a big section of the body side is on the door. 
to improve the access. So again, and a, a six, well, a six or seven person will comfortably sit in this car as well. Again, on here, we talked about the badge at the front. There's another piece of jewellery that is, is inset into the body side. This could be anything. I mean, we've gone for a Union Jack to show it's, uh, it's British, but if you wanted to have a family crest of your children's names, whatever anybody wants, we, we can put that on there. One of the things that Russell Carr talks about is that he wanted to get a car that looked like it had been carved by air, carved by nature. Um, there's also an element of porosity. So you can see these massive Venturi ducts that are in here. Um, and they are designed to speed up the air and then control control the weight that's coming off of the back of the car. So everything is designed around improving the range in the, um, of the vehicle. So the range, the range that we're estimating, I mean, it's at the moment the, the figures that we publicise are estimations, and I, we think they're on the low side, is on a WLTB cycle, which is a normal driving cycle on road, highway, uh, 250 miles in the range. Yeah. So what we can't see is uh, it's, I like to joke that this is our, uh, our mid-engine battery pack that we've got here. So the Lotus Dynamics, uh, the battery pack is sat behind the driver. Um, so very much in the, it's a replacement for where the engine will be on the car. But we've really tried to make the cabin and the battery pack so it's, it's down between the wheels. So if you could sit in the cockpit, we were keen to make it feel like you're, you're wearing the car rather than sat on top of the wheels. Um, and one of the things that we have is the front haunches on the car, you can yes. see them. So pretty much as a, the Becker Corners the as they used to be. Yes. On this car you have your Becker Corners, so you can see where you're placing it as you go in there. So you can, see, you can see the damper arrangement in the back of the car there. So we've gone for inboard dampers front and rear um, because we wanted, to, we wanted the opportunity to put the porosity through the car. So these are produced by our friends, Multimatic, just down the road in Thetford. So uh, another piece of uh, Norfolk uh, supply that's on the car. Active Aero, I think, I think you managed to catch Ben the wing going up and down there. We've also got active DRS reduction system in the back, if you can see that. The rear diffuser on the car is, is a thing of beauty itself. Um, the majority of the downforce for the vehicle is generated through the floor. Again, so we have, we have the Lotus badge on here. The T, the T is going to be the reversing lamp. So the massive uh, Venturi tunnels that we talked about that you can see through here, they are surrounded by the, um, by the rear lamps. And, and it was the afterburner look that we were looking for. So it's going to be amazing at night when you're looking through there. I, I, think, I think also, hopefully you, you feel this, that the, the photos are good, but seeing it in person just absolutely brings this car to life. Well, it fits me like a glove, so I need to take one home, right? <laughs> well, this is beautiful. Look at that. This is fantastic. Thank you.